All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to April 11th, 1450, where Muscovy and the glorious true Russia is making the Slavic people great again, currently under war with Lithuania, who for some reason did not get in an alliance with Poland, so we thought, you know what, no alliance, no union, time to go on Muscovy's dinner plate. Uh, finances are doing all right, a little bit less on gold than we'd like. We're losing some gold, not much, about a tenth of a duck in a month, but a lot of gold stored up. Manpower's at about uh, 20%, 10%, 5%, I don't know, you guys do math. Actually, it's about 15% manpower, I'm not that bad at math. But we finally, just in the last episode, pieced out the Livonian order, which will allow us to bring about thirteen to 15,000 troops more down to bear on the Lithuanians, who only have about 15,000 left. Plus, our vassals are running around and doing crazy work, look at these guys. And uh, they're sieging things right and left and winning battles right and left and helping us siege down Smolensk. That is, of course, our personal union. Um, previously, in previous episodes, we did make Yaroslav grow, grow a bit. We made pretend Russia, fake Russia. We bent them over our knee and we gave them a good spanking. And we fabricated a claim on Kazan and it looks like we can fabricate another one. So, let's fabricate a claim and let's see. We have a claim on Kazan. We have a claim on... Oh, we do not. We want this province as well because it's, I believe, the second most valuable. Yes. 7, 15, 6, 6, 7. All right. Um, unfortunately, them getting stronger against the Golden Horde does not fit with my goals, but it is more important, I believe, for our long-term survival to spank Lithuania. Because let me tell you this. If Lithuania and Poland become one massive union, they become a much stronger fight. They basically get twice as strong, plus they get Mazovia and Mol Moldavia on its own. So this fight was tough? Yeah, well, try fighting all of that. Plus, then they conquer the Teutons, and they get an ally or two, and it becomes an absolute nightmare. So being able to kick Lithuania in the ball swiftly right now is important. We're on speed three. We're playing a little bit slowly. We're 11th in the world, but we will show those dirty motherfuckers that we should be number one. Alrighty. Now, these units, um, hmm, all right, okay, here we go. Got some troops here. Um, looks like we have a level two fort, which means we'll need six guys. So we'll pull these two back. We're gonna send in two mercs and four regular troops, and then we'll pull this army down here to merge with them so we can back up as needed. I don't really wanna engage either this eight stack or the 7.1 stack, but it looks like they're not engaging particularly well either. Again, once Smolensk falls, the entire game changes. All of a sudden, the frontier is firmly under our control. We did switch off our forts in Neva and in Nizhny Novgorod, just to be safe. Once Smolensk fort is under our control, we will switch off the fort in Moskva as well. I did not want to leave Moskva free to a surprise counterattack. The Quasim Separatists are at 3.4% or 20% or something, but if they dare to show their heads up, we're going to chop that head off. Okay, look, another province falls. Looks like they will kill a stack. It looks like the Lithuanians are standing in Kiev, and yes, I want that barrel. That barrel needs to belong to me. Okay, 35%. Come on, Smolensk. We did leave about half a troop there. Just the bottom half, actually, not the top half of a troop. So the top half belongs to our vassals and our personal union partners. Bottom half belongs to us. We left half a troop there, 500 men, um, just to make sure that in case for some reason they ran away, we would not lose it. Can we just march straight there? No, we'd have to go around in a circle. Um, defenders desert. Ah, oh, I wish that siege was over already. And, uh... Can't, I do not know if I'm being smart. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually march these guys around. Uh, 6 and 13, that's 20 troops here. But if we can get these troops to Bransk, and then we have a really nice quad of 8 troops, 8 troops, 14 troops, 6 troops, uh, 9 troops. And that's a pretty strong core. There's no place he can attack there without having to attack a massively fortified amount of land. He is trying to save some of the provinces that these guys siege, but that is A-OK -okay with me. Um, the more time he spends sieging useless things and not actually making substantial gains, the better it is for me. His war enthusiasm is high. I wonder why. He holds the goal, the length of the war, and the military strength. Interesting. Um, but uh, our military is about three times as strong. And the length of the war, we are not the kind of people who like long, stupid wars. Okay, what's going on here? Um, looks like he's going to make a death ball in Kiev, which is okay with me, of course. If he makes a death ball, that means attrition. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wait. If he's only attacking with 13 units, we might actually be able to get there in time. Oh, nope. Attacking with 25. Um, siege ability. Sure. And, okay. Smolens fell. Um, what does that mean for us? Oh, my goodness. Do we go and fight this battle? We will be there in about two weeks. He is taking a negative one penalty, which is not particularly great. But if Ryazan does come to help and we do get 
our guys there in time. Plus that 14, maybe, maybe. I can't tell if this is a good idea or not. Um, we arrive in three days. Okay, hold on. Oh dear, we need Ryazan to get here yesterday. We need all our units to get here yesterday. We're in trouble. We're holding on. Oh, okay, we got some prestige, which is nice. Okay, he got his units here. We're now winning the battle. We're now winning the battle. I think we're taking too many losses, though. So we basically won the battle at a huge cost. 8,000 oh, 8, to 7,000, 4,000 to 2,000. Actually, we came pretty even in military amount. Um, about 1,300 extra cab, but we lost about 1,300. 1,000 extra troops. We actually lost slightly less than he did. And, of course, that those losses are spread across each of them. By the way, Paradox, great great idea here would be so when you hover over it you can see where the losses came from um, but the good news is we did win that battle I kind of felt like winning that battle was important I'm not sure why I don't know I just kind of had this hey let's go win that battle vibe but um, that's okay so we're gonna sit here we're gonna take these provinces and we're gonna let them chill up there the good news is of course at this point that Lithuania is got 12 troops left uh, how many troops should this actually be wow that should be 10 troops um, hmm we are 5,000 in the hole. We do not have enough manpower to do that. I'm just going to straight up consolidate. I don't care. I do not care. We'll just straight up consolidate. That's okay. And I'm going to march you guys up north. The good news is, of course, our vassals are now going to do a lot of sieging as well. So we are happily sieging down there. And we have extra ducats. So we're going to make two more. Nope, not you. I'm gonna make two more infant or two more mercenary infantries. That's what I'm trying to say. I can speak English. All right, and this is feeling making me feel pretty good. Still no personal union, and their mission is not to establish a personal union. And they have a king that is not the normal king. So I do not think they don't even have an alliance, do they? No, I do not think that they can still establish the personal union. So we might be able to just eat up all of Lithuania without interference from the dirty Poles. So then we can eat up Lithuania and then eat up Poland. And then we'll really be on Europe's doorstep and they will be terrified. But uh, we'll just have to see how this goes. Now, I do not know whether it will be smarter to or not to um, try to release uh, Smolensk as a separate state and give it a bunch of land or not. We'll see how we decide to go about that. Um, I do want to, of course, constantly... Oh, shoot, what did I just do? No. I do want to be kind of shifting out some units here. You might be able to shift out all these guys now that there are those guys approaching. Let's see. There's currently not enough men on the siege, but once that uh, other Merc arrives, will there be? No. We're currently short. Okay. Pause here. Yeah, no, he decided to leave bastard okay uh, we'll send uh, three more yeah we need six on the siege i just didn't want to leave too many men on that siege because um it costs manpower i am at four thousand manpower I'd like not to scrape the barrel just yet a uh, year into my game or i guess six years into the campaign but you know first handful of episodes and if we can actually get him to engage in uh zitomor 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 that would be good but good news is it looks like Ryzon and perm are doing some valuable sieging um, we are not going to beat him there, are we? We're going to arrive on the 22nd. He's going to arrive on the 21st. Okay, let's not do that. Um, we will go up towards Chernigov and Brinsk. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want those two armies to be close enough to reinforce each other in case I do end up engaging. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but okay. We are sitting on those two sieges, and ooh, Lithuania now no longer wants to fight. How much would it cost to take everything from Lithuania? Um, hmm, I do not see the option, so we'll just check out the seed provinces. 9, 18. Who's that going to rustle the jimmies of? Ooh, that's going to rustle a lot of jimmies. Maybe we'll do that. Could still get well, that's not too bad. Hmm, all right, that's 49. What about that? I could get Poland. I don't want Poland. Poland's the big one. I do not want in a uh, coalition against me. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go drop a uh, prove relations guy in Poland right now just so I have that constantly going. Okay, let's take a look at the states map mode maybe and decide which states we have and where we want to take. Uh, Geographic map bones. States. Alright. So. 
We have this state. We want to take that. And uh, White Ruthenia. All right. Okay. So what I think we'll do is we'll make sure. Hold on. We will. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll take it one one step at a time. Now this is woods, and we will cross a river. I just don't want to fight that fight. That doesn't look good to me. Um, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, that just doesn't look like a wise fight. Pascal's got a nice general, a two star. Let's see what he is. Ooh, a four four. I wish I had a four four. Okay. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we'll merge up the army in Brinks. And then we're going to pull them back to Smolensk, and we'll move up this. Oh, nope, he's marching back. Can I get there ahead of you? You're going to arrive back on the 22nd. I'll arrive there on the 23rd. Damn it. What about you? You'll arrive on the 30th, even later. Okay. All right. Maybe not. Okay. Minsk has fallen, and that looks good for me. You're going to arrive in Kiev on the 3rd. I'm going to arrive on December 31st. Wait. December 31st, yes. I'm going to arrive on the 3rd. This is perfect. Okay. And we will, once you're locked in, I will switch a gen. Oh, nope. Damn it. Bastard. Okay. You will arrive back on the 7th. I will arrive there on the 8th. It is clever son of a bitch. All right. Uh, move Vasilevich. We'll move our other general to here. I don't like playing these little stupid games, but I don't want to fight into, oh, these are farmlands. Okay. You know what? I will fight you in farmlands. I just didn't want to fight in woods. You know, you fight in woods, it's a pretty big effing deal. So, we're going to take a negative one penalty to all our rolls. But that's okay because we have better numbers and we're not taking a woods penalty as well. I'm okay with this trade. And we'll see how the losses come up. Okay, pause really fast. Let's look at this battle first. All right, we lost 3,400 guys, but he lost about 5,600. So that's a net positive for us. Would rather have not lost any guys whatsoever, but at some point you just gotta lose some guys. And we can lose manpower or just a little bit of prestige, but again, we're doing pretty good in the prestige department since we're kicking his ass. All right, and his, his enthusiasm went from low to high suspiciously fast. Why? Okay, I'm not sure. Um, our war exhaustion is a little bit higher than I'd like, so we're going to knock it down just a tad bit. And let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, goodness. All right. Now it's down to medium. Um, we're really just at a point where we're just having to carpet siege and sit down, and it's just not fun. I mean, I'm not saying it's not fun. It's just going to take a while. That's just the reality of the situation and we're gonna just need to go take his capital and push up to the north and let our vassals handle things to the south although it looks like he did lose a battle that's less than ideal um hmm he's gonna arrive there on the 21st we're gonna arrive there on the 21st shift consolidate just so we have all our units in the front line that we want and we're just gonna push up here and hopefully take him out and um hmm Okay, that was farmlands, which is good. Looks like we're going to win. Maybe not as dramatically as I would have liked, but it's okay. We're going to go to Minx and capture that single troop. Perfect. Will we stack wipe this army? That would be pretty nice, I'll be honest. We didn't stack wipe, but at the cost of 2,100 troops, we killed about 3,000. Less than ideal. Okay, Plotsk has fallen. That's good. We're going to want to give Plotsk to Tver for sure. So, or Paskov, I mean. That's our vassal in the region. Okay, so let's take a look at this peace deal. Get plots to Tver. And take that for ourselves, for provinces. Poland does not enter a coalition, but Lithuania, Novgorod, Livonian Order might. But they all have different um, peace treaties, so I think we'll be okay. The important thing is it's going to take away 9, 16, 12, and five development away from Lithuania, which is going to be pretty significant in the long run. And uh, we'll move this army maybe down to here. And you know what? We might take that province for Puskov as well, just because we can. We'll see. We'll see how it affects the the um, diplomatic map mode. Now they're really on low enthusiasm, which is good. And I'm not done driving a stake into the heart of their country yet. So, again, Lithuania is a big beast. It's going to take a lot of wars to chew up, and I'm willing... To, I, I just don't want Poland in a coalition. I don't mind all these schmucks coalitioning me, especially once all this territory is under our control. Poland's just the one I do not want to have to deal with a coalition. Now, is that a level 3 fort? Yeah, it's a level 3 fort. I'd rather not fight a level 3 fort. Um, let's see. All right, let's switch this to Puskov. Or to Puskov, yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. Take out this and give that 57. 
okay, they are this province slipping away from doing that, and I will take that. So that's going to give us, us ourselves as Russians, 12, 16, and then 9 development. And it's going to give our vassal 14 and 14 development. And that basically robs Lithuania, which is a country of... Um, hmm. What about three hundred percent? It's gonna it's gonna take a pretty good chunk of develop, development away from them, and it will make the next war for them a lot easier. So, actually, you know what? We're gonna get war reps this too. I think. Let's see war reps. Um, yeah, you know what? we're just gonna wait till we can get war reps as well, and just really rub it in. Just want to rub it in. I just want to want them to know that I'm better than them and that I beat them. And I think that's what we're gonna do. They're just going to, our allies are just going to siege up all these little things to the south. Okay, um, where are you going? That will be a war. Um, you're going to arrive on June 25th. We're going to arrive on June 23rd. It is grasslands, but you will cross a river here. Your army is slightly bigger, so we will have to rush down and defend. And we will send that army. Um, we'll need nine, actually. Hmm. I guess we'll send that army down to defend as well. All right. But again, we'll be defending, and we'll be able to reinforce pretty convincingly. And it's important that we stop this army of 10 from getting down to the south, where they will kill these littler stacks. So I think this is a good engagement for us. He did not get the negative crossing, but he did start with a lot less morale. And currently, rolls are going slightly in our favor, but we will be reinforcing in three days. Good. All right, that gave us significant numbers of advantage. He's committing 6k more to the fight. We're committing 7k more to the fight. And this should be... Pretty much a pretty big death blow at this point. Awesome. Uh, we lost more units than him. That's not the kind of trades we want to be making. But he will give us what we want now. Um, all that to them, war reps, will not make Poland join against us. And it does look pretty good to me. Alright, so we'll, say, we'll take that. No, shoot, 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 shoot. I forgot to give Puskov the other province I wanted. Bummer. Okay. All right. Um, oh, God damn it. All right. Okay. Not not great. Let's mothball all our forts first off. Um, let's see about uh, coring you and uh, coring you and coring you. And do we take you as well? All right. Do we need to make any states here? Uh, you are already a state, and once we make you a core. All right. So... Oh, man, that's a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. So, in the next episode, we can we integrate Perm yet? We cannot integrate Perm yet. We're going to work on integrating Perm, and once Perm is in, ooh, we lost our advisor. Okay, we'll work on that. But, uh, importantly, uh, we're doing pretty good. All right, let's get another guy. Guy with a big-ass beard looks pretty cool. Guy with a different beard looks equally cool. Or guy with the scar, but he's going to cost too much. Um, especially since we're losing a little bit of money. Which beard do we like? I th oh, can we see the age? 37 and 37. Both pretty young. Uh, do we want stability cost or production? I think we'll take production. All right. Okay. So now we got a cool guy with a beard, an eye patch guy, and a pirate. I'm not feeling too bad about this. And no corruption. We're doing okay. But we're going to need to watch our war exhaustion chick down and our manpower tick back up. To reinforce our armies, we need 9,000 troops. And that is pretty unacceptable. So uh, we'll get all our armies resituated. And we've done a lot to fight here. Uh, truce in quite a while. I think what we will do is... I don't want Riga to join in a coalition against me, so I'm going to work on improving you. And uh, we'll see what we can do. I let Lithuania get a province I did not want them to get. But I did weaken them considerably. So, disband mercs. I will, dis I will let my mercs go. Um, I think it's important not to spend that money on them just a second. And we are going to want to, of course, start uh, buying some tech and doing some things. So, all right. Need 8,000 men. You know what? I'm just going to straight. Do I consult? No. I'm going to let them heal naturally. All right. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we are going to... Um, oh, Golden Horde's in trouble. I'm tempted to pile on Muscovy, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Um, let's... We're going to... Actually, right now, we're going to get a claim on Kazan. Uh, let's see. Maybe on this province. Okay. And then we're going to leave. And once we come back from there, we're going to start improving relations with Perm in hopes of integrating it into our belly in the next coming years. 
and then we're gonna sit back and we're gonna let our manpower tick up a bit and we're gonna let our economy tick up a bit and we're gonna see what we're gonna do actually we'll do that right now um, army maintenance down uh, how's our corruption doing I don't want corruption rising there we go army maintenance is down actually no we're gonna want our army maintenance up while we are reinforcing that's costing us a little bit of money okay Lithuania lost the war but they did not ally Ooh, Danzig's independent. That's kind of cool. Um, Lithuania lost the war, but they have not allied Poland yet. So I'm hoping that I will be able to eat more of them before they ally Poland. I am working um, to make Poland like me, and I am working to make Riga like me. But I will probably... Let's see when our truth ends with you. 61. This truce also ends in 61. Um, I'm not sure the order of what I'm going to want to do. Kazan. Ooh, Kazan's losing that war. Kazan. You know what? We're going to we're gonna prepare... Screw it. We're going to merge our units. And we're going to prepare to go to war against Kazan. And we're going to just try to take a couple claims because we can. So why not? Foot on the gas. And then after the, the war with Kazan, I guess, then we'll actually have to sit for a bit and just see what happens. And we will give this land probably to Perm just so we don't have to court and deal with the infidels ourselves. All right. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is BTM. Uh, we are taking the glorious Muscovy to heights it has never, ever, ever seen before. Thank you for watching. Until next time, good luck. Happy hunting. BTM out.